Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Zypher and today I'm going to be showing you how to change your FOV in Fallout 4 permanently. Now to do so, you're going to need these two lines of code. Now I've been, you know, a nice guy. I've put these in the description for you guys so you can copy them yourself. Anyway, copy them to somewhere you can edit them because these XX values here, this is where you're going to decide what your FOV is going to be. So um, the game starts with a default FOV of 80, which I find to be too low. Personally, I like like an FOV of 100, so you're going to modify this XX value with um, whatever FOV you wish. Um, you can literally change it to be anything, and you want to save, and you then want to copy these um, two lines of code right here. So yeah, change your FOV to whatever you want it to be. Um, copy these from the description, change it, and um, yeah, we'll be we'll get ready to change the FOV now. So I am using Windows 7 right now. Um, I don't know how to do this on a Mac or anything like that, but um, on a Windows 7 computer, what you're going to do is you're going to go into My Documents. You're going to go into My Games, Fallout 4, and you want to open up your Fallout 4 prefs.ini file. Now to open up this file, you're going to need an app called Notepad. Notepad will allow you to open up these configuration um, settings, folders, and actually edit them, like you can see here. We can actually go into and edit, you know, um, what the game is made of. And anyway, once you have Notepad and you've managed to open up this uh, file right here, you want to find your display section. Thankfully, it's right at the top here. And you want to scroll down until the very bottom. So you, as you can see here, the display section ends once we run into this new bracket um, image space here. And you want to hit enter and you want to paste those two lines of code that I gave you. And then you want to save. Now once these codes are in, you don't have to do anything else with this file, you can just close it, and now we want to open up our fallout4.ini. Now very similarly here, we're going to find our display section, but we aren't going to go to the very bottom of our display section, that won't actually work. Um, it's a little tricky here, but what we have to do is we have to go down to the bottom of like this first little um, bunch of information here, and we actually have to put our values there. I don't know why it won't let, just let you um, put this at the bottom, but um, yeah, just put it um, right there, right under um, B multi-threaded rendering UNP equals one, just put it under that. And now what we're also going to do, we're going to have to um, change this little setting here. Under your interface, F default world FOV, we're going to have to change these to whatever you want your FOV to be as well. Once you've made those changes, save and exit. And that's it for your documents. Um, what we're going to have to do then is find your Fallout 4 installation. Now, since I use Steam to um, install Fallout 4, Fallout 4 is going to be in my Steam library, Steam apps, common, Fallout 4. So yeah, wherever this folder is for you guys, find it. Um, you're going to need to edit this as well. And we're going to want to open up our Fallout 4 default INI file. And this looks exactly like the last one, guys. Literally just do the exact same thing I told you to last time. Um, change these to 100 or whatever you want your FAV to be. Save. Make sure you didn't fuck, everything, you know, fuck anything up. Exit out. And then you're going to want to open up your Fallout 4 folder. Yes, there is a Fallout 4 folder in your Fallout 4 folder. I know it's confusing. And then you want to open up Fallout 4 prefs.ini. And just like before, guys, you're just going to have to do that same thing again. Go to the bottom of your display section and insert your new FOV settings. And there it is. Your FOV has now been changed. You can set it to whatever you want. Um, if this doesn't work for you guys, then I'm sorry. This is what worked for me. Um, unfortunately, I'm no computer expert. So hopefully this worked for you guys. Guys. and um, if it did you know give us a like if it didn't comment in the description again I'm sorry if it didn't work but um yeah I hope you guys I hope this works for you guys and I'll see you guys next time have a great day